Okay, here it is, my PS3 collection. One of my newest collections and almost smallest. I think I do have a smaller collection, but it's not massive. Um, I've had my PS3 only two years. I got it in January 2018. It is the only console I have not boxed. I don't know if you can see it. It's in this little um, case unit here. I think it's just out of reach, out of shot. Um, it's not one of the original big chunky ones. It's a slim line, but it's not the one with the the sliding cover. It's uh, just a standard slim one. I don't know what gig or anything like that on it. Let me uh, move this light a bit closer. Is that better? There we are. I can see me now. I'm in the dark. Um, so yeah, I've only had it two years. I didn't get it on launch because I prefer the 360. I still prefer the 360. Uh, but it, there was a lot of games I wanted to play on the PS3, which we're going to go through all the stuff I have. Um, obviously, being a collection video and more games, we'll talk about some of the games that I bought it for and all that kind of stuff. Now, most of the games are just PS3 exclusives. There is just a handful of games that I have on the 360, either because I really like the game and wanted to play it again, or because I got it in a bundle or it was cheap or something like that. Well, again, we'll talk about the games when we come through them. So, other than my PS3, I did get two controllers with it. They are both uh, six-axis DualShock 3 controllers. So you've just got the two controllers. Um, the other thing I got that I did find fairly early on in the charity shop was the starter pack uh, Move, PlayStation Move with the camera. So I do have one of them with one of the Move sticks, uh, which you can use for various games. And the only other bits I have are a few magazines. So we've got a Play magazine. We have issue 164. These were given to me free, uh, actually, so happy with these. 179. And the last play one we have is 206. And then I have a few um, of the official PlayStation magazines. So this continues from the other official magazines I have for PlayStation 1 and 2. So we'll start off with issue 17. Uh, 34. Fifty six, quite a chunky one. Fifty seven, it's got the old Uncharted three on that one. A uh, uh, series I've mainly bought the uh, console for. Fifty eight, eighty. Last couple now, eighty one. Penultimate one is 82, and that's in the PS4, and 83. So they're the magazines we have. Small selection of magazines for this console, like I say. Didn't have it back in the day, I've only had it two years, so... Yeah, crack on with the games, shall we? The games we have in my PS3 collection. Now, if there's any games missing that you think I should have, pop it down in the comments. If it is a multi-console game, such as if it was on the Xbox 360, I've probably got the game on the 360. If not, if I want it, I will get it on the 360. Um, but nonetheless, if there's any games I'm missing that you think I should um, get, let me know in the comments. And there's quite a lot of these I've not played yet, so again, in the comments, let me know which ones I should get onto next. We'll talk about them as we go. So we'll start off with Agarest, Generations of War. So, like I say, a lot of these I've not played, so we'll skip through a lot of them. And then we've got quite a few of the Atelier games. So, we've got Aisha, Alchemist of Dusk. Maru, The Apprentice of Ireland. So, these are obviously kind of RPG games. Uh, Verona Plus, The Alchemist of Ireland. Tori, The Adventurer of Ireland. I'm still coming from Ireland. Um, then, <coughs> games I do have on the 360, but I wanted to collect the steelbooks again on the PS3. So we've got the Arkham City uh, steelbooks. So we have the Joker version and the Two-Face version. Let's turn my light up a bit. So the Two-Face one, that is the only one I need on the 360, annoyingly, is the Two-Face one. And I have recently seen the Penguin one for the PS3, so I'll have that. And it'll just be the Catwoman one. We need to finish the PS3 um, set off for those. 
Uh, Beyond Two Souls, not played this yet, heard it's pretty good. Uh, from the makers of Heavy Rain, got Helen Page and William Defoe in it, quite like William Defoe, so we will give that a go at some point. Uh, this I got in a bundle uh, on a car boot, it's still sealed, Call of Duty Ghosts, I do have it on 360 as well, not actually played that one yet. Um, again, got this really cheap, um, Modern Warfare 2, didn't mind that one, it's probably one of the last better Call of Duties. Again, games I do have on the 360, but I love these games so much, I needed them again on the PS3 to play. So that is Darksiders and Darksiders 2. For the first one, I thought the first one was just an incredible game. Again, got this cheap and enjoyed the game, so we got it on the PS3. Plus, it's a limited edition one of Dark Souls. It's fully complete. And uh, Dark Souls 2 as well. And this is actually a uh, HMV limited edition, number 1. 1,444 of 2,000, so I guess it's a unique cover, which is why I kept that. I think that came with the console uh, when I got it, so I just kept it because I like the limited edition and I like Dark Souls. Um, then we have Dark Void, again got it really cheap, quite an underrated game, actually really enjoy it, I'm playing through it again at the minute, I have finished it on the 360. Um, you can get it really cheap, if you have not played it, I recommend picking it up for the price, it's a, it's a great game. Um, again, came with a bundle I got at the car boot, still sealed, Dead Space 3, do like the Dead Space games, I'll probably try and get the first two as well on the PS3, because I do like them, I wouldn't mind playing through them again. Third one's regarded as probably the weaker one, um, it had co-op in, which took away a lot of the kind of scare factor and the uh, intensity of the first two games. first one was absolutely incredible, so I think I'll definitely get that again. Um, Obviously, only PlayStation game, Demon Souls, one that's kicked off all the Dark Souls style games. Uh, played a little bit of it, quite enjoy it, need to go back to it. This is an incredible game, again, have it on 360, finished it. Played it through again on the PS3. Enslaved Odyssey to the West, absolutely fantastic game, mo capped by Andy Serkis, who did Gollum, um, is in the game as well. And it's just a fantastic game. It's a great third-person kind of action-adventure platforming game. And it's incredible. Highly recommend playing that one. Um, the fight. Got it just used with my camera. But not trade, tried it yet. It's got a tiny trail on the back. Uh, found this really cheap in a store that was closing down. And it's hard to get older because I don't think like CX and that hold it. It's a Realm Reborn Final Fantasy fourteen Online. I don't know if I can even use it or not. I've uh, not tried, but it's a Final Fantasy game I wanted. Then we've got Folklore. I've only played the beginning of this so far. It seems all right. I need to get back on it. Um, it's supposed to be a really good game. So, yeah, try that. Genji, Days of the Blade. I'm actually playing through the first Genji on the PS2 at the minute. Um, so, look forward to getting onto this after. This will be my next PS3 game that I'll probably play once I finish the first one. And I'll see... Screen on the back, got God of War 3, love the God of War games, absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, and obviously we got the Steelbook version of God of War Ascension on that one. So now we've done them, we're going to switch this uh, background for the next stack of games as we go on. Now I've got to them. So put in a game. Everybody will recognise for this next section. Obviously the game came with the console, the game I wanted the most and the one I pretty much got the console for, The Last of Us. Absolutely fantastic game. I know a lot of people moan about it saying it's not really a game, but until you've proper played it and played it all the way through and finished it, you then realise what an incredible game it actually is and the story is just unbelievable. Um, so yeah, look forward to the second one. But we'll continue our list. So we've got Haze, first person shooter, not played that yet. Heavenly Sword, got it really cheap, looks pretty good, I'll give that a go. Uh, Heavy Rain, I started it um, and it was quite an intense beginning and I wasn't really in the frame of mind for playing such a game so I put it off. A game I can use my Motion Plus with again, um, but I will go back to it when I'm a bit more <laughs> mentally stable. Yeah, it was quite a harsh beginning. Um, House of the Dead, Overkill, Extended Cut, fantastic game. Uh, I've played it a little bit, so we'll get back on that 
Just, yeah, that's great. What am I getting a gun, actually, for my PS3? Um, Classics HD Collection, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, two fantastic games I both have on PS, PS2. Um, but want the updated versions on the PS3 because I just love playing the games. Series I need to get into, not played this yet. So we've got Infamous and Infamous 2. I've not got the one on the PS4 yet, I'm looking out for that. So once I've got them all, I'll probably go through that series. Um, another series I've not played yet, First Person Shooter. Got the first one on the PS2. So when I finish Genji, I'll probably get onto that and then start this series. It's got Killzone 2. Uh, Killzone 3 and the steelbook of Killzone 3 as well because I think I got it really cheap so I actually have both versions of that. Um, another game I got cheap just to use my camera with Kung Fu Rider. I think I got that in a charity shop. Another one I got really cheap, uh, Lair. Not played it yet. It's got loads of dragons and stuff in it so it looks pretty cool. I'll give that a go. Obviously the game we just put in we have The Last of Us, this came with the console, just say not to be sold separately, so I don't know what that came with, but we do have, as well, The Last of Us, Ellie Edition. So, this is in absolutely fantastic condition, uh, got this from a guy at CX, who it's his actual copy and traded in. Um, it's fully complete, got everything in there, really nice edition there, so we've got the Ellie Edition of The Last of Us. Then we have Little Big Planet, staple titles, I think, for the uh, PS3 and Little Big Planet 2. I've not actually properly played them yet. A game I was, again, that I got the console for that I wanted to play, and I've not played that much of it, so I need to get back to this Metal Gear Solid 4. So, really need to get onto that, really. I keep forgetting I've got it. A game I've recently just finished and platinumed Mini Ninjas. Fantastic game, got it on the 360 as well, finished it on there. Um, it's just a fantastic, great little um, game. Kind of a, obviously you play as little mini ninjas, going around doing little missions, rescuing each other, and taking down the evil warlord. And yeah, it's just a great little third person, action-y platform game. Highly recommend picking it up, you can get it on pretty much every console at the time. Uh, the only one I don't have it on is the Wii, and I might even pick it up on that as well, because I enjoyed it so much. Motorstorm. So, racing games for the PS3, it's supposed to be pretty good, not played on much yet, and Motorstorm Pacific Rift. Fantastic series, love this series, so needed it on the PS3, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. So I've not played these on the PS3 yet, so I will be starting these, and Ninja Gaiden 2 Sigma. So it just comes with all them extras and stuff. Um, a game I played quite a lot of, but not finished, so I will go back to this at um, some point this year. That's Nino Kuni, the uh, Wrath of the White Witch. Fantastic game. So yeah, I don't know why I put it down. I think I just went on to all the stuff and again, forgot and it got mislaid. So we'll go back to that. So it's good looking at these games and looking at what I was playing and what I need to play. A series I've never played and I have quite a lot of them, if not all of them now. So I must start these. It's the Ratchet and Clank games. So we've got A Crack in Time. Uh, Nexus. Quest for Booty, I think these are easy Platinums as well, and Tools of Destruction. So I have to get onto them, never played a Ratchet and Clank game, they look alright. Uh, this was a gift from a fellow tuber Daz uh, at Blackpool uh, last year actually, so we've got Red Dead Redemption, The Undead Nightmare. Uh, another game that came as part of that bundle I got off the car boots, again still sealed, they're all steel sealed. Uh, Red Faction Armageddon. Really like the Red Faction games. I've finished this on the 360. Um, I will get around to playing it again on the PS3 because I enjoyed it. <coughs> Game again I have on the 360, but not this version. This is the Gold Edition of Resident Evil 5. Didn't mind it. A lot of people hated it. Um, I don't mind it playing it in co-op. It's all right, but playing it single player with bloody Sheva, she's just annoying, gets in the way. Uh, but this obviously includes all the DLC, so we'll go through that. And now that pile's done, we'll uh, flick out the disc. And have another background for the last section of games. And this is the first game to kick off the section. A uh, release title 
for the PS3. A series that I uh, wanted to get into, but have not had a chance to start yet, so we'll be starting these games. And that is The Resistance, Fall of Man games, first person shooters. Um, <clears throat> like I say, release title for the PS3, not played them yet. I do like my first person shooters, so we'll be giving this series a go. Is that any good? Let me know. So we've obviously got Resistance 2 as well, and Resistance 3. And do we have... No, it's a kill zone. I've got my PS4, not Resistance, yeah. So I've got a kill zone on PS4 to play as well, so we'll be going through all them. Uh, Rune Factory Oceans. Don't know. Again, another game I've got for the camera. The Shoot. Looks pretty good. You can use a gun on it as well. Uh, just because I really like the band, it's my favourite band of all time. We've got, we got it really cheap as well. So, Singstar Queen. Improved with the eye, so I can use the PlayStation Eye with that as well. A series that started on the PS2, which I've got both for. This is the third one, Siren Blood Curse. <coughs> and this was, I think, the last one that came with that bundle of sealed games. So, still sealed. SOCOM Confrontation. Do like the SOCOM games. So, uh, again, I've played, I think, this one a little bit. Obviously, not the other one because it's still sealed. Uh, SOCOM Special Forces. Let's go back to that. Um, got this just because of the um, exclusive character. I've got it on the 360 again, which came with Yoda. Soul Calibur 4. This one came with Darth Vader. So, I've got both versions of the game. This was came as a bundle, I think, from a charity shop. I just Kept it, you can use the camera, so I'll give it a go at some point. Uh, Sports Champions, it's re just really cheap. Um, game I didn't know much about, I can't remember where, why, where or why I got it, but I've been playing this uh, quite a bit actually, and it's a really good game. Starhawk, yeah, really enjoying that. That's a, a th it's got quite a lot of different elements of different games, so it's a third person shooter, um, but got Almost RTS elements as well. You can build structures and stuff as you're playing. Quite interesting. Um, I think there's a bit of flight simmy as well in there. <coughs> in fact, like this is the last seal of the game I got in that um, bundle. So Syndicate, not played it. I've got it on 360 as well. I never played it. I don't know if to keep it or not. I might put that in my uh, traded sale pile. I'm not decided yet. And then a load of the Tales games. So Tales of Graces F. Not played any of these on the PS3 yet. Uh, recent pickup, Tales of Symphonia Chronicles Collector's Edition, which is fully complete. We got that from uh, Doncaster, the last Doncaster. Collector's or Day One Edition of Tales of Zillia. Fully complete. And Tales of Zillia 2, Day One Edition Steelbook. Then we have Tales of Zisaria. Zisaria? I think that's what it is. Weird bonus content. Tears to Teria 2. Don't know what the first game was on. Was it a PS1 game or um, another console? Let me know. I'll look out for the first one. It's an Atlas game. I know a lot of people like their Atlas games. Let's move these a bit closer. Last little stack. So we've got the Nickelodeon. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Danger of the Ooze. Actually a really good game. Kind of like a Metroidvania style game. Really enjoying it. Uh, I'm looking out for the 360 version of that now as well. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Time Crisis, Blazing Storm. Also including Time Crisis 4 and Deadstrom Pirates. So again, I need a gun to play this properly. I have given all games a go. And great games. And another series, again, that I bought the console for. It's supposed to be a Tomb Raider beater. Um, <clears throat> love my Tomb Raider games, so give this a go. And it is a fantastic series. I wouldn't class it as a Tomb Raider game. Although, yes, it is very similar and stuff. It's, I think it's just its own game, really. Um, but it's the Uncharted series. So I've got the first one, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves, and Uncharted 3. J um, <coughs> Drake's Deception. I played all three of them and Uncharted 4 and the kind of, was it Legacy or something on the PS4? Played all five back to back. Just absolutely love the games. Fantastic series. 
If you've got a PS3, you must have them games and play them. Yeah, incredible games. Uh, Valkyria Chronicles. The Walking Dead Season 2. Really liked... I don't, I've not actually watched the Walking Dead series, but they Walking Dead Telltale series games are fantastic. They are the best of the Telltale games um, of the Walking Dead ones. So the first two seasons are incredible. White Knight Chronicles 2 includes a fully remastered version of the original White Knight Chronicles. Not played that yet. Yakuza 4 Steelbook. Yakuza games are supposed to be really good. I've not played the series yet. But we have two of them and Yakuza Dead Souls. I know there's a few on the PS4 as well. Uh, so be looking out for them. And they are my PS3 games. So out of the games I've got, what should I be playing next? I know I've got a few lined up that I want to. What games am I missing that I should have in the collection? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed looking at my PS3 collection two years on. Um, yeah, there's still a few games I want to be picking up for it. So more will be coming. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys in another collection video soon. So take care. Bye for now.